In today's giant unboxing, the Violator from Spawn. Hello and welcome back my friends, <clears throat> excuse me, and what a video we've got today. Um, the Violator from Spawn, and this thing is a beast, um, it is quite heavy too, the box is huge. Um, because of the way I've done these videos, I'll give you an idea right now. <clears throat> because if we stand that next to that one, much taller as well, it's just... Oh, I can't wait to get him out and this guy as well. But I'm basically making the beginning of both of the videos right now so I can pop these puppies out. So look at that cool looking image on the side there of the violator. Yeah, and we've got the nice cool spawn logo here as well. In the front. And oh, what a menacing beast. That is cool. And yeah, as I said, quite a bit of weight to it. And if we walk around here, that is a cool looking art image there. That is awesome. And we'll come around the back. 22 moving parts, the violator. This thing is freaking awesome. Um, we'll definitely bring in some other characters as we do. But this thing here is a monster. And again, someone fell over. There's an idea of the size. So. I'm going to let him out, he's going to eat him, I wish I had a Rancor to go with him, this thing, oh, I just can't wait to get him out of the box, let's do it. I don't know what to say, but, oh my god, <laughs> that's, like, I just don't know what to say. I am just... This thing is amazing. What gets me is... Like, for example, here in New Zealand, you know, things aren't the cheapest. Um, but... This here, I would honestly have paid more for it retail. This, this violator from McFarlane Toys... You know, I'm not digging on anyone here, but this violator here cost was cheaper than Serta. And not much more than a standard necker figure. Like, the, I'm just absolutely amazed in how awesome this thing actually is. And I'm going to show you now. <laughs> it's just, wow. Like, first of all, this guy is not heavy. He took about for nearly 10 minutes just to get out of the box because he was just held in there so well. Um, his mouth does actually move, a bit like that there. But the detail, like we, we don't worry, we, we're gonna actually look at him, but, and like, he's got some pretty decent articulation too. But this thing here is just absolutely amazing. And I cannot believe how cool it is. The detail is just amazing. Really is. Um, we'll, we'll zoom in and I'll show you what I mean. Right, so check that out, guys. Look at that. And he's... Yeah, Got the big bit at the top. We'll have a better look at them too once we've just wowed those teeth. It's just absolutely top notch. Look at all those spikes. And if we come around to the arm here. Look at that. I'm holding him at the moment. He does stand though. But look how cool that is. That is just awesome. And this, oh, I love this here. Like, this here is just amazing. And it's so rough. That like, yeah, like get it. Is all look and say is buy it. Buy it. Do not hesitate. Buy the violator now. This is an awesome. I got the last one too from um Pop Stop. How cool is that guys? I am absolutely loving this thing. 
come up a bit here. You can see. There we go. Horn at the top as well. Just amazing. Absolutely amazing. The Violator from Spawn. Those teeth. Just awesome. Let's have a look at the lower half. Which again is awesome. His legs, claws on his feet. Come in back. Again, spikes all up his leg. Oh, I like the feet. Look at that. The bone in the back. That is awesome. Such an amazing figurine. Mega figure, they call it. But just the detail is just absolutely amazing. Obviously, no accessories. But yeah. That is just cool. So, like I showed you before, the mouth does articulate. Um, and the head has a slight swivel to it. Just slight. Um, the arms, they do actually move quite a lot. There's a big joint in here and here. That hole moves around. They can too. And again, you've got quite a big there in here too swivel but just those arms are just oh god yeah it's just cool guys i am just absolutely loving this this thing is just yeah brilliant let's try to give you a good look at that arm there too i want a rancor to go with them he could be a rancor. <laughs> that is just phenomenal. So that's the arm, and it does obviously twist a bit too, but they've done it quite well with this piece that comes down, so it actually covers up the hinge in here when you're moving them. So I really like that. And then here too, they've hidden it quite well on this, and even in the arm. So that's the same over here. Look at that. We do have a bit of a twist, not much in there though. This is semi soft, just like slight softness. Um, legs are moving here. I'm not going to move him too much because he's going to fall over if I keep it doing it too much. So you've got that there, and you do have a again another joint in here. You can see the peg as well, and it's really cool. There's one in here and down here as well. Let's check out those feet while we're here. This thing is awesome. Absolutely blown away on the detail. The sure sheer size. That is awesome. Arm span's pretty good. This thing is cool, man. Absolutely cool. Don't know where I'm going to put him yet, but I will figure that out. Just see these bloody spikes in that on me. He's just amazing. I was messing around when I got him at the box with him, a mate here. We um, fed him a spider. <laughs> Check here. I'll show you that. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I don't know how to pose him. Um, what I'll do for the end of this video, just because there's not much we can do, but look at how absolutely awesome this thing is. While we're standing here though, but what I'm going to do next to finish off the video is I'm going to bring out what I'm going to say, my Titans. So my biggest figurines, and we'll see which is the biggest. I've only got about four or five, so that's what we'll do in a moment. Um, just because, as we know, I am more of a Star Wars channel. So I am going to show you a small comparison here. With Boba Fett standing right there. So that gives you an idea of the size of this monster. But yeah. 
can eat them pretty easily. <coughs> right, so what I'll do now is I will bring out the Titans and we will go out for the end. And this, <laughs> just can't get over how amazing this thing is. Look, I'm not saying I didn't... Well, but he, he's overshadowed everything right now. Even Serta, I am just absolutely loving this figurine. Right, let's get the Titans out. Alright, so here we have it. Um, I was actually going to put Chucky in here, but he's... Well, he wins regardless, but he's... Fun's over. Yeah, I, I class him a little bit different than a figurine... Um, but yeah, so these three here are the, the biggest. So Jetfire had the crown. Now it's these three. Um, size comparison wise depends on where you want to go by. So if I actually just need to move that one. So the top of Surtur's crown. He wins if you go by the top of Surtur's crown. Um, if you don't include that, if you go by the top of head, these guys, Jetfire and Serta, are pretty much spot on. Um, if I stood him straighter, he'd be just under. Um, but he does sort of slanch and over like that, so where these guys don't. So Serta's the tallest. If you go by the crown, otherwise those two are evens. Or he is if you go by that. But this guy is just amazing. Again, like, I just can't help but come back to him. Um, I wish there was some Star Wars I could throw in here. But I, I, you know, I'm not including Lego in that. It's actual f figurines and items. So the only thing that will ever be close to that will probably be the Rancor. But um, very unlikely I'll be getting that, unfortunately. But... I absolutely love this Violator. This Vi is just an amazing figurine. McFarlane Toys have done a fantastic job of that. Still love my Hasbro, don't you worry about that. Because um, this Surtur is absolutely amazing. I really like that. That and That's my pose at the moment for the shelf. Um, and it does support them well too. But yeah, Jetfire is an amazing Really awesome transformer in my mind, and it feels more suitable. To turn that right now, because <laughs> he's not, he's yeah. Oh, cool. So, what do you guys think? How, how amazing is that? The Violator figurine, this thing is just awesome. Um, talk to me down below. Are you gonna get him? I highly recommend that you do get them because um, this thing is just awesome. Snatch them while you can. Good price too, in my opinion. Absolutely. I'd certainly pay more. I am more than happy with these two figures I've just got. And I hope you guys have enjoyed the different videos. Um, these are just two I absolutely had to add to my collection. Um, and I'm damn glad, sure I did. And Pop Stop, you guys are awesome. Cool. Um, I'm just. What do I? I just. Oh, I'm in. Absolutely love it. I'm gonna bring him in right now, so you can see a bit of a size too. Now, my good friend Neil has taken his um his axing, and is going to paint that for me because he's pretty good from what I've seen, and I trust him. So thank you, Neil. Can't wait to see that result. Yeah, so this was one of the spawn, this Raven spawn figure. Another superb figurine as well. Absolutely awesome detail. He is on my channel as well. Absolutely awesome. Right, guys, I should probably go away now because I am just in absolutely loving this figure. Let's bring it a gram into. Just mix it all up there. Right, guys. Thank you very, very much for joining me in this absolutely awesome review of The Violator from Spawn. I do appreciate it. Smash the like. Talk to me down below. And until the next one. Rawr.